You guys are going to like this one. This is, we actually touched on this a couple months ago, and I said I was going to do a segment on it, and I never did. Oh, yeah. I and almost forgot. What I forgot the segments to. Were that and then I got, some, <laughs> I got some media requests to do this. And I was like, oh my God, we need to do a segment. So, this is a segment about surgery to change your eye color, specifically Corrado pigmentation to change your eye color. Whoa, look at that picture. Yowza. She's, so, gonna, um, she's trying to be on Twilight or something. Dude, she is on Twilight. And honestly, I kind of dig it. I, I know that's weird, but I, I kind of like the bottom color. Um, I was really interested to take a deep dive on this. So this kind of went viral on social media. Sarah's <laughs> shaking her head at me. Uh, this kind of went uh, viral on social media this past year. Well, a year, to year and a half. And we briefly talked about it when we were talking about the 10 weirdest plastic surgeries or mm -hmm. cosmetic surgeries. Col yeah, eye color change. Yeah, about eye color change. And so uh, I want to do a deep dive on this, but I'm specifically going to talk about crado pigmentation, but I'll just very briefly talk about the other ways that people change their eye color. So the craziest way is with an actual iris implant. So the iris is the colored part of the eye, mm -hmm. you know, which gives the eye the color. And there is a surgery where they actually ablate that color and they put an implant in there, I guess. Like that picture that you saw? Like that you put up there? No, that's crado pigmentation. Okay. No, that's crado pigmentation. So iris implants is what's be considered an intraocular procedure. So it actually goes inside the eyeball. Uh, so immediately for me doing that for aesthetics, I'm out. Like that's a no for me. Dog. That's a hard no. Like a double hard no. In my eyeball. Full stop. No way. Uh, the other the other ways that you can change the eye color is scleral tattooing. So literally putting a tattoo on the eyeball. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about repetitive needle pokes to my eyeball. So although this is extraocular, I think I'm going to hard pass on this one as well. Mm. Now, that leaves Corrado pigmentation. Have you guys heard of this? You may have heard of it on socials. No? Okay. Is it, is it no. closer related to like a, a laser, like LASIK surgery? Bingo. Okay. Sarah's on it. Yep. So uh, Corrado pigmentation. Of the ways to change your eye color, this is definitely the most reliable with the least amount of risk considering you are working on your eyeball. Sold. So as, <laughs> sold, you're in? I mean, I'd rather out of all of those ones if that you, you had talked to, about, yeah, if someone's putting I'd a gun rather to get your the head, one that's like closest yeah. to the one that gives you 20, 20 vision. The... Right. Okay. Very good. I think that's a smart <laughs> call. Um, the so safest. with this procedure, it uses the laser, just okay. like you said, to make a five millimeter opening in the cornea, which is the transparent part of the outside of the eyeball. Um, and what they do, and I want to, I'm going to throw a picture up there, Trey, that's like a, yeah, okay, here, cool. Eyeball, uh, cross section. So the cornea you see on the very left side is that thin layer. It's a transparent layer that covers kind of the internal parts of the eyeball. And you see the iris, it's actually, I don't know why they colored it red, uh, but the iris is the red part there. Uh, that gives you the color of the That gives eye. you the color of the eye. So what they're doing is they're making a slit in that cornea and making a space in there, and then they're injecting this pigment mm -hmm. to cover up the iris. So it doesn't actually change your iris. It just masks it. It's almost like a colored contact. Like getting your hair highlighted or something. Kind of, but... But it's not but, like... But, you're not dyeing it. Maybe like a fingernail polish. Yes. Like a but polish. It, yeah, similar. Yeah, okay. That's... Because that's, if you dye your hair, that's like chemicals. Right. Well, I guess pigments are chemicals. I don't know. But it doesn't like... Can you take the? Can you take that out of your eye? That's a great question, and I will jump ahead and answer your question, sort of. Okay. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> um, so uh, this uh, is of the three, definitely the least invasive because it's considered extraocular because you're not getting into the actual internal parts of the eye; it's all in the cornea. Um, the results are, you know, they're they're uh, let's okay. just just look at them. All right, so I got a couple here. Throw up the first one, Trey. Okay, so obviously before is up top, uh, after is below. Um, you know, the thing I notice about these Corrado pigmentations is they do seem very unnaturally colored. Um, I also, if I'm going to be super critical, to me it almost looks like the uh, color on the bottom is not perfectly round. Like, doesn't yeah. it seem like the pupils are almost oval a bit? It almost looks like very, like, froggy. Like a like, replicant from what's the what's that um, Blade Runner? In yeah, the Blade Runner, the ones well, that have the replicants. Have you ever seen that show like on Cartoon Network or like Adult Swim or something? And like Which those one? cartoons 
that have like the squiggly instead of you know like a cartoon has like a black dot for a uh -huh. person's eyes. They have squiggly eyes. And it's squiggly. It looks like that, you think? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? The one no. with like the crazy <laughs> uncle look, with look the crazy up. hair. Oh, I forgot what it's called. I'm gonna have to look it up. Maybe it's on um Comedy Central or something, one of those cartoons on there. It's probably one of the things your kids watch. No, my kids do not watch Comedy Central. <laughs> they like cuss. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's always trying to get me to let her watch South Park. I'm like, no. Uh, All right, let's see the next one, Trey. <laughs> Throw up the next one. Okay, that one looks that one pretty looks good. Better. I like that one. You know, that, I mean, it, it looks cool. I, I do like the way it looks. Um, I'm getting, like, interested in this. Does that make you want to get that, Trey? No. <laughs> <laughs> Trey's like, absolutely <laughs> Instantly, no. no. I don't mess with my eyes. Like, I, I can't even put context in. Oh, wow. It looks way no. better on that screen, dude. Oh, it does. Wow, the second screen does look way better. Okay, all right, let's see the third one, Trey. The other screen's a loser. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, back up. That's oh, me. That's me when I had color content. Wait, isn't there a third one? or is there? No, there was no third one. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, it, just imagine something very similar. Everybody on the second one, it, it looks like not only did they get their eye color changed, but they just got done crying about something horrible. Maybe they got the bill, <laughs> which brings up a good point. How much does this cost? And hurt. <laughs> Wait, I think we do have one. Is oh, it, there it is. There yeah, there's go. the third one. Yeah, I just got out of line. Yeah, so that's like a gray. I mean, that's kind of cool, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you guys think this costs? Still a number uh, out there. Three ninety nine. A free uh, <laughs> That'll get you the console. I think <laughs> the console. Fifteen hundred. Wow. Uh, twelve thousand. Gross. Twelve thousand. Now, this is done by ophthalmologists. This is not a plastic surgery procedure. Let me be very clear about this. Done by an ophthalmologist, which is not an optometrist, which is the person that you go, you know, get your glasses glasses from. This is an ophthalmologist, the person who would do like LASIK surgery. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they're using the same equipment. Uh, it takes about an hour. Costs about 12 grand. Um, it's gaining popularity in the United States. I found two surgeons in the United States that have pretty big web pages about it. One's in New York City, the other's in Los Angeles. So that brings me to my question is how long has this been around and how like like these doctors so that are doing it? It's like how long have they even been doing it? It's been around. So you're right. It's not FDA approved. It's off label. Okay. The laser to use it's been around for a long time. Yes. And the pigment has actually been used for medically necessary procedures. Okay. There are things that can go wrong with the iris where you want to use pigment to cover it up. Okay. Like for one, uh, albinism, mm -hmm. where like you have the red eye, like yeah. nobody wants that. Or maybe they do. I think it might be cool, but a lot of people would not want it. You so they're like, huh? <laughs> I said you're such a weirdo. I'd be like, I don't know. I kind of like the red eyes. It's <laughs> like, I feel like a, like Darth Vader or something. Um, so there are medical reasons that people do this. So it's not yeah. brand new, brand new. Yeah. But it is new that it's being used for cosmetic. Yeah. Like for somebody who's like, look, I think I just don't want to have just they want to. brown eyes anymore. Now, let me just let you guys know that in January of 2024, the American Academy of Ophthalmology issued a warning about eye color change. Look at that. Wow, no. they are letting people know that this it's can cool carry serious eyeballs. risk of vision loss and complications. However, let's be fair, the AAO, as they are sometimes called, lumped all of these things in together. So they were talking about iris um, trans or what the I things say? that you talked about before. Iris implants, yeah, scleral yeah, those tattooing. Other, those two other procedures. And I do think that this carotid pigmentation, because I did a little bit of a dive on these two guys. They've mm -hmm. done somewhere between 500 and 1,000 each of these. And I actually watched a podcast of one of them. And I was like going all in on this research here because I want to bring you guys like literally the best information. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And so <laughs> this guy was he, saying. Because you secretly want to change your eye color. Dude, I'm a little interested. <laughs> and I'm, get I'm some not, crazy not color so you can audition for the next Twilight. No, I just feel like I would just look cool with it. But you're, you're getting me. I was on the soapbox here. You're really <laughs> derailing me here. So I, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So these guys were saying that the it's risk. It's your birthday. I'm just kidding. I know, right? I'm a, oh, squirrel. Uh, these guys are saying that they are not seeing anything crazy from mm -hmm. complications risk. Now, these are board certified ophthalmologists using excellent equipment. This is not get your eye color change in a van down by the river. Like these guys are really good, okay? And so the number one thing they're seeing is light sensitivity, which is one of the risks that the AAO was talking about. The other risks include damage to cornea, reaction to dye, infection, of course, and then color fade or leakage. But these guys are saying that really the only thing that they're legitimately seeing 
is light sensitivity. Well, I can see that because it looks like most of the people are going from brown eyes to blue eyes, and blue-eyed people naturally have light sensitivity, don't they? I'm not sure that holds up, Sarah. I'm going to say okay, but I'm going to say I'm not. I always see sure. that people, when people have blue eyes. <laughs> I don't think that if they, but it doesn't make them have the same things the blue eyed person would have. I think yeah. it's the surgery that gives them the lights. Well, that's there. probably true too. Yeah. But I've always, but like it's a good somebody, comment and I appreciate it because like it's making you think. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Because anytime good somebody, right, that if they're I blue eyes, right, blue they're eyes, more immediately. What about they like the red eye people? They're probably very, they're I've very never sensitive. met anybody with red eyes. <laughs> oh, I know, I'm about Bruce. to get red eyes just so you can see. How <laughs> okay. So now these guys are saying that they're seeing good results, but there is not a lot of data on this. Like there's not tens of thousands of people that have had this. So, also one last thing is it can be partially reversed, as you talk, you asked. Yes, they can potentially take the dye out, although it's not 100%. You might have like a tint left mm -hmm. behind, and they can also partially change it. So, like, say you got blue and you don't like that, you could probably change to green, but you probably couldn't go to red. You can change to something that's similar, you like maybe red. like a secondary color, right? Like the primary colors and like purple. Purple, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. A purple would be pretty dope. So... <laughs> Um, my opinion on this, well, I'll get to that at the end. We, would you guys do this, Sarah? Um, I would do it if, um, it didn't sound so scary. So maybe. Not right now, but, but maybe in the I future. But I wouldn't change my eyes to blue. I would change it to where, like, maybe my brown eyes are, like, brighter or something. Oh, cool. I like that. So you or, would do, like, like an more, accent. like, honey I love that. Colored. I love and that. And not so much, like, yeah. strange. Trey, I know what you're going to say. <laughs> you're... Absolutely no, right? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. absolutely not. You can't put in contacts. You're not letting somebody poke your yeah, eyeball with a laser. I'm not. I'm not an eye guy. I, I feel you, man. Yeah. I feel you. So I, I feel like that right now. I, I, I wouldn't encourage anyone to rush out and do this. I, I, I will say I am not as pessimistic about it, having done the research that I was when I first saw it. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that the, the two guys that are doing it, and I, I wish I had written their names down. Um, they're, they're probably easily findable on the internet. Like, the results look pretty good. These guys are very established, you know, certified ophthalmologists. I, I think that this definitely could be something in the future that might be a little bit more mainstream. Mm -hmm. As of right now, it's just early. And I hate to be the first person to jump on some new treatment. So I, I'm going to pass right now. <gasps> you know the question I just thought of? What's that? So like whenever you're at the doctor and you say, do you have blue eyes? Like You'd on your driver's license, do yeah, you get to, to change, change it? it? Well, I mean, I what don't if think you're, the, the What if your eye like, color is red now and you're a brown-eyed person? You probably have to tell him you changed it, yeah. Y'all will not let go of this red eye. <laughs> I, won't let, so I won't let it go. So <laughs> if, if I could change my eye color to any color, it probably would be green. If I was like, Okay, that's a, a good question. So room. you would do green. What would you do, Sarah? You just accent yours? I just so, make it like brighter. So yeah. I will tell you, the reason I mention this, I used to color my eyes all the time with contacts. I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like you're like color. No, no, with contacts. In fact, that last picture is me. Um, where I, above I had green, and it, it doesn't show up great, but the bottom one was a gold, and I loved it. Oh my god, it was just so cool. People would always comment about it because yeah. it was kind of brown, but it was just a yeah, little bit. Yeah, like that's like how I'd yeah, want mine. It was just a little bit too goldish to be unnoticeable, and I absolutely loved it. And I. The only reason I quit doing it is the company that made that particular contact quit making them. Do you mm -hmm. wear contacts now? I do, uh, but I just wear clear because... Uh, My friend in high school, she had like like super dark brown eyes. It almost looked like her whole eye, like it was like her whole iris. Mm -hmm. And, or not her whole iris, like her pupil. Like she just looked like they were almost like black. Right, because they were so dark. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so she had these like crazy, like turquoise colored, like blue, mm -hmm. like, like ocean blue color. Yeah. And it was like crazy, but you could obviously tell they right. were, it was fake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had all yeah. kinds of colors, but I loved the gold so much. I'm like, and they were like, it was like a metallic gold. It was just was so cool. Real quick, we got a couple comments on oh. YouTube. YouTube, all right, um, Invisible Ship Bills. He said, leave Paris alone. I think Paris Hilton is what he was talking about. <laughs> okay. And J. 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 Trevelli said, never do LASIK for some reason. Never do LASIK. Mm -hmm. I've had, I've had, so the research will say that LASIK is safe, but there are a certain percentage of people that like will have side stories. effects like halos, like, uh, or they have to get it redone. Like one of my really good friends got LASIK and it was great, but then he had to get it redone in five or 10 years. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I, I'm going to pass on LASIK because my vision is really not bad. It's like 2040. So I'm not getting surgery on my eye for 2040. Um, but yeah, oh, thanks to 
the, for those comments, you guys. We do, do appreciate that. Yeah, I think that, that was like so. the most we've ever had. And we're not even done yet. 